welcome to the channel and welcome to this game of Grimdark Future. And apologies for not putting a video out for ages. Nothing serious, just life got in the way. And again, nothing serious, it's just one thing gets on top of another and before you know it, the best part of the year's gone by. So thank you very much to those of you who have left messages of encouragement and sorry to have abandoned you, but hopefully my intention is to start putting videos out again on a regular basis. And to hopefully partially make up for that, I'm going to do a 2,000 point game of Grindart Future with 2,000 points, give or take 2 or 3%, of two armies that I've not used before, certainly not on the channel. So we're going to do a new Battle Brothers army against Dark Elf Raiders. So here is more or less 2,000 points of Dark Elf Raiders. And this is using version 2.5 of the beta army books that you can use the army list builder um, tool with, which I think is fantastic. It's really good, nice and easy to use. You can print it so that it gives you all the data cards. It's great, I love it. They are being led by a Dark Lord in the center. He is equipped with a barbed pistol and an agony whip. And he's been upgraded with True Raider, which means he gets plus one to his shooting and plus one to his melee rolls. And he's also been upgraded with Agony Ruler. And if you scroll to the what that means, it means they get the Pain Fueled ability, which means you then need to scroll to see what that means, which means he and his unit get regeneration. Now, come on, one page rules, you're supposed to be about making war games easy, so just say him and his unit get regeneration, it's a lot easier. That's why I'm one and only niggle so far. Speaking of his unit, we've got a combined unit of 10 warriors. They're kind of his elite bodyguard, and because they're his elite bodyguard, they also have true raider, so they get plus one to their shooting and plus one to their melee rolls as well. And they've got barb rifles, and there's also a barb cannon in there. To the bottom left of the screen, there's another unit of five warriors, the ones with the purple hairdos, uh, except for the guy who's completely bald. In there, we've got four barb rifles and a scrapper, and then on the bottom right of the screen there's another unit of warriors these ones again when they're not bald they've got red hairdos uh, one in there has got a power sword an energy sword rather and there's also a blast rifle in there behind them we've got a unit of five nightmares no upgrades with them they're just as they come next to them there's a heavy jet bike that's armed with two barb cannons and then we've got two skimmers at the back the one with the black sail is a light skimmer and it's been upgraded with an energy ram, a shield of darkness which gives it stealth, so minus one to be shot at, and also a teleport gate so we can come in from ambush. The one with the whitish sail is a heavy skimmer and that's also been upgraded with an energy ram, shield of darkness and a teleport gate. So that's the best part of 2000 points of Dark Elf Raiders. And here we have round about 2,000 points of Battle Brothers. They are being led by a Master Brother, this chappy here. And he's been upgraded with Captain, which gives him advanced tactics, which means once per activation before attacking, I can pick two friendly units within 12 inches of this model, and they may move by up to three inches each. And he's also equipped with Destroyer Armor, which gives him the ambush ability and increases his toughness by three, so he's toughness six. He's equipped with a heavy rifle with a flamer mod and an energy hammer. We've got a second master brother next to him, this chappy here. He also has captain, so advanced tactics. Uh, he's equipped with a jetpack, a combat shield, and an energy hammer. And accompanying him is a unit of five Assault Brothers. They've obviously got jetpacks. The jetpacks give them ambush and flying. And they're all equipped with close combat weapons. We've got three heavy pistols in there and two flamethrowers. On the left of the screen, we've got two identical units of five Battle Brothers. Within each squad, one has been upgraded with a heavy fusion rifle. And also another has been upgraded with a flamer mod and an energy fist. We've got an attack speeder, which is equipped with a heavy flamethrower and a heavy fusion rifle. We've got an attack walker, which is equipped with a walker fist, a heavy fusion rifle and a storm rifle. And then finally, we've got a unit of five support brothers. And in there, two of them are equipped with gravity cannons and two are equipped with laser cannons. And that is more or less 2000 points of battle brothers. 
And I've just noticed that the Army Force Builder tool isn't as clever as I first thought because it seems to assume that units of support brothers, i.e. these chaps, will all be equipped with some kind of heavy weapon. It doesn't seem to take account of the fact that one of your models is very likely to be some kind of sergeant. So yeah, it reckons that this chappy has got a heavy flamethrower, but he hasn't. So because there are actually a few more points in this army than the, uh, the Dark Elf Raiders, I'm going to just say that he's equipped with a heavy rifle like an ordinary battle brother is and also an NG sword if they get into close combat. So yeah, so not quite as clever as I first thought, but hey ho, we will soldier on. Okay, we're set up. We've got five objectives which we're rolled for and you know me, I always like to have one in the exact centre of the battlefield. Uh, we've got one over by that swamp or marsh, one on top of that hill, one by this hill and these woods and one by those woods. So reasonably fairly evenly spaced. So obviously this is a game against myself in case you're not familiar with the channel, hence why it's called Sudden Lonely Gamer. Um, but yes, those are the objectives. The Dark Elves won the deployment roll off and they've got quite a few, they've got quite a few units in transports and some of those transports have ambush. So there's not actually a lot deployed on the battlefield at the moment. We've got the heavy jet bike over there with one of the units of warriors inside it. We've got the Dark Lord with his elite unit of warriors with him over there in the woods and everything else is in ambush. And then for the Battle Brothers, we've got the support brothers deployed in these woods with the speeder and the attack walker. There's a unit of the Battle Brothers here, the other unit of Battle Brothers there. The Master Brother in his destroyer armor is in ambush and the assault troops with the other Master Brother are also in ambush. So not a lot deployed on the battlefield at the moment. It's almost like I'm playing with demons, but there we go. We'll go into turn one. And my understanding is, if I remember correctly, because the Dark Elves won the deployment roll off, they get to the first activation in the first turn. Before we actually get started on the first turn though, I remembered that I forgot to tell you what the Dark Elf skimmers have got as armaments. I'll explain that as and when it comes to effect, but yeah, I realise I forgot to tell you what guns they've got. And the other thing I want to do is quickly tell you about the terrain, because I sometimes get people asking me about the terrain. The battle mat is from P Work War Games, and all of the terrain on there was all made by me. Uh, it's all built from scratch, even the trees. The objective markers are um, from a tutorial from Wylock's Armoury. I'm sure if you know about One Page Rules, you probably know about Wylock. Check him out and you'll find a tutorial on how to make these objective markers. Right, now we'll go into turn one. For the first activation, the heavy jet bike has moved forward slightly so that's in the cover of these rocks and is going to take a shot at the attack walker. Well, I say a shot, it's six shots using its um, barb cannons. So six shots, quality of four plus. And it is poison, so any sixes become three hits and that's only one miss. So that six becomes three. So that effectively means we've got, what, seven hits out of six attacks? Right, so the attack walker is defense of two plus though, and there's no AP on these. Although there's one, two, three ones. So that's three damage through on the tough 12 attack walker. In response, the support brothers have advanced forwards through the woods and are going to shoot at the heavy jet bike. Now the grav Gravity cannons are only 18 inch range, so they're out of range, but the two laser cannons are in range, as is the heavy rifle held by the, um, for want of a better term, sergeant, the NCO. And because the heavy jet bike is very much in cover, they'll get minus one to the hit rolls for these attacks. Starting things off with the laser cannons, they're one shot each, ordinarily quality three, but because of cover, uh, we'll be hitting on fours. 
So two shots, hit on fours. That's one hit. These are AP three. The jet bike, the heavy jet bike is defense two. So we'll need a five plus to save, which saves. And then one shot from a heavy rifle, which would hit on a four, which hits, it's AP one. So three up save and that saves as well. So the return fire from the Battle Brothers quite ineffective. For the Dark Elves, the Dark Lord and his retinue have advanced a little bit further into the woods. I did contemplate getting them out onto that objective, but equally he's no fool. He knows he has reinforcements inbound and he doesn't see the sense in just simply walking out into the open to be a sitting duck for the Battle Brothers to shoot at. And that is all of the units activated for the Dark Elves. This unit of Battle Brothers has advanced into those woods, take, capturing that objective in the process, and are now going to shoot at the Dark Lord and his retinue in the opposite woods. Now, they'll get minus one to the hit rolls because the Dark Elves are in cover, and there's only the heavy rifles are in range. The Flamer mod and also the, um, the heavy fusion gun are out of range. So four shots, hitting on fours. That's two hits. He's AP one and the L's have got five up defense. So saving on sixes. Nope, but they do get regeneration. So they'll ignore those two wounds on five pluses. And ignore one, so one of the L's dies. The attack walker rushed forwards and is holding objective one. The Attack speeder initially advanced with the intention of trying to shoot at the heavy jet bike and he got to around here and that was as far as it could go with an advance and um, yeah the these fusion rifles heavy fusion rifles are very short range they're only 18 inch range so it wasn't in range so instead of advancing it has rushed forwards and is now behind the rock for cover and then finally this unit of battle brothers has decided to just stay put behind this hill because these guys are no fools. They know there's gonna be more elves incoming and they'd want to be ready for wherever the new threat appears. So as we go into turn two, we'll have to decide who's gonna come in from ambush, if anybody. Right, so it's the start of turn two. Both sides have units with ambush, so I rolled off and the Battle Brothers won the roll off to bring in a unit first. And then I thought, well, actually, they're currently on three objectives. They're on objective three, objective one in the center, and objective five on their left flank. So they currently control the majority of the objectives. So all they need to do is just keep feeding reinforcements onto those objectives and hold them for the rest of the battle. However, the Dark Elves definitely needed more units on the table. So both of the skimmers have come in through their teleport portals and have dropped down onto objectives. We've got the, the light skimmer over there with the nightmares and a unit of warriors inside it. And then the heavy skimmer has dropped down onto objective two on the hill. Now the dark elves will get the first activation because they finished activating first in turn one. For their first activation, the Heavy Skimmer is going to fire on the Battle Brothers Attack Walker. It is equipped with three laser lancers. So this will be three shots hitting on fours. And that is two hits. These are AP three. So five up saves needed for the Attack Walker. Both of which fail and they are deadly three each. So that strips another six wounds off the Attack Walker. And with that, the attack walker is down to less than half its starting tough. It was tough 12, it's got three wounds left, so it needs to take a morale test. It's quality three, but it's fearless, so he gets plus one to this roll. So effectively a two plus is needed. And that's a two, so it's fine, it's not pinned. The attack walker has advanced and it's going to fire its heavy fusion rifle over at the light skimmer and its storm rifle into the um, the Dark Lord and his warrior entourage. So we'll do the Storm Rifle first, which is three shots, and the, the walker will be hitting on fours, because it's quality three, but they're in cover. 
and that is two hits. This will be a six plus save. Oh, two of them. Both of which fail and ignore on fives. So that's one more elf dies because one was ignored, courtesy of regeneration. And then one shot, which again will hit on a four because it's quality three, but the light skimmer has got a shield of darkness, which gives it stealth. So hitting on a four, hits. This is AP four, it's defense two plus, so sixes to save, which fails, and that is deadly six. So that is six damage, and it's only toughness of six. So the light skimmer is destroyed, and all the models inside will need to take a deadly terrain test. The units inside the light skimmer, which by the way, it was armed with a destroyer cannon, um, have now got out. They have to get out within six inches of the destroyed transport. And now we have to roll a D6 for each model in each unit. And on a roll of a one, they'll take a wound. So this will be for the warriors. So one of those dies. And then the unit of nightmares. Three of them die. And then both units automatically become pinned. So that was quite a devastating blow from that attack walker. Anyway, right, so the nightmares are now down to below their start, half their starting strength. So in theory, they should now take another morale test. But because it wasn't in melee, the worst that will happen is they'd simply be pinned and they're already pinned. So we're just gonna ignore that. In answer to that, the Dark Lord and his retinue have burst out of the woods and they're going to fire upon that unit of Battle Brothers in the opposite woods. They're on to that objective that the light skimmer was blown off because uh, they need to be holding some objectives. There's seven barb rifles in the squad and a barb cannon and other than the range they're basically the same and it's a total of 10 shots. They're quality 4 plus but because of the true raider they're now hitting on 3s but they're shooting at a target in woods in cover so 4s. So 10 shots hitting on 4s. Oops. And of course 6s become 3 hits. And that's just as well because actually it's statistically average 5 of them hit 5 of them missed. But by the time you can't take into account the 6s only one of them missed. Now, Battle Brothers in this 2.5 beta list, they've got defense of 3+, plus, whereas they used to be 2+, plus, but they're 3+, plus, so 3 plus saves. And that is 1, 2, 3, 4 fails. So, 4 of them die, which means the one remaining will have to take a leadership test, a, a morale test. And that's a 5. They would have needed at least a three, possibly a two, because I didn't check if they were fearless, but it's a five plus, so they'll easily pass on that. So there's one left in that squad. So yes, they are fearless, and I've left the one with the um, the heavy rifle and the flamer mod, because he's got more shots. The support brothers have advanced out of the woods, and they're going to put all of their firepower into this heavy jet bike. Uh, kind of want it dead. So... It, can't, it might make more sense to put it into the heavy skimmer, but right here, right now, I want to get it before it activates. And if we can destroy it, then hopefully we might get another lucky roll on the um, dangerous terrain test for the people inside it, the elves inside it. So we'll start with the two gravity cannons. They are six shots each with rending. So any sixes, on, uh, natural sixes to hit become AP4 and ignore the regeneration rule. Not that that has regeneration, but that's what rending does. So 12 shots in total, we'll be hitting on fours because again, the uh, jet bike has got the benefit of cover. And there's two sixes. So those will be AP four. And those are misses, those are misses, and those are misses. I don't seem to be doing very well with the lighting tonight. Right. So these five will be two up saves. Ooh, nudge the heavy skimmer. And there's one fail, so that's one damage. And then the two sixes will need sixes to save, which both fail. Uh, so that's 
three damage through. It is tough six, so it's got three wounds left. And then we've got two laser cannons, which will hit on fours. Both hit, two pair of fives. Uh, these will need sixes to save, uh, both of which fail. And those are deadly three each, so that on its own would have destroyed it. So probably should have started with that really, thinking about it. Could have saved a bit of time, but there we go. And the shots from the heavy rifle on the NCO are wasted. And there's five Dark Elves inside it. And one of those dies in the ensuing explosion. So four will get out. And now the Dark Elves only have pinned units. There's this unit of warriors here that just got out of the heavy um, jet bike. And then there's this unit of warriors here and the nightmares that got out of the light skimmer. So all they can do is remove the pin and mark themselves as activated. So I think I'll start with the um, that unit of warriors who will now be fired on by that last remaining battle brother who has advanced out of the trees. He gets six shots from his flamer mod, which has only got a six inch range. So hitting on threes because the target unit is not in cover. And that is three hits. Five to save because there's no AP. And that is another dead elf. And there's one shot from his rifle, which hits. And this will be a six to save because it's AP one. And that doesn't save. So that's two more dead elves. There's only one left in that squad. So another morale test is required. They are quality four plus. And he is a plucky little chap and he will pass his morale test. And now the unit of nightmares, what's left of it, the two remaining nightmares have simply marked themselves as activated and removed their pin. The unit of battle brothers that was behind that hill have rushed over towards the trees to reinforce that objective. The only unit left for the Dark Elves is this unit of warriors that was inside the, uh, the heavy jet bike and they will simply mark themselves as activated and remove their pin. The last unit for the Battle Brothers is the Attack Speeder. It has come around that rock and is going to fire in at the Heavy Skimmer. It's got six shots with its Heavy Flamethrower, which will hit on fours because again of the stealth, the Dark Shield or whatever it's called, on the Heavy Skimmer. So that's only one hit. AP1, so this would be a 3 plus save, which passes. And then one shot from the heavy fusion rifle, which will hit on a 4, and misses. And that is the end of turn 2. So at the end of turn 2, the Dark Elves have taken some very heavy losses. They've lost their heavy jet bike, they've lost their light skimmer, They've lost significant numbers of infantry that were in the light skimmer. Uh, the 10 that were in there, there's only three of them left. Um, they've taken some minor casualties in the Dark Lords unit. And this unit has also taken a casualty. And on the Battle Brothers, on the part of the Battle Brothers, their attack walker is steaming and smoking and stumbling with only three of its 12 tough points left. And this unit of Battle Brothers has been reduced to a single man. But unlike the Dark Elves, the Battle Brothers do still have reinforcements to come in. As we're going to turn three, the Dark Elves will get the first activation because they finished acti activating first. And at the start of turn three, the unit of Assault Brothers with their Master Brother have dropped in onto the central objective to reinforce it and the Dark Owls will get the first activation. And I'm a little bit torn because part of me wants these two nightmares to charge that last remaining battle brother over there uh, because I haven't seen what the nightmares can do yet and I was quite disappointed that three of them got killed. So that's that part of me wants to do that. The other part of me wants the heavy skimmer to either finish off that attack walker or take out the attack speeder and i'm also quite conscious that it's kind of in the open with those support brothers so i think it makes sense to activate this 
and see what we can do with it. We'll go for the heavy skimmer. So the heavy skimmer has dropped down behind that hill, so it gets even more cover against any incoming fire from the support brothers, and it's going to fire all three of its laser lancers in at the attack speeder. So this will be three shots hitting on threes. And that is two hits. This will be five up saves. And one of them is passed on a six, and that is deadly three. So the speeder is down to three wounds left out of its starting six tough. So we'll need to take a morale test. This will be a two plus because of fearless and quality three plus. And that's a one. So it fails, it is pinned. So not necessarily the outcome I was hoping for, I was hoping to kill it um, as the Dark Elf player, but it's better than nothing I suppose. At least it won't be able to do anything this turn. For the Battle Brothers, the Assault Brothers are going to charge into the Dark Lords unit. And before they attack, the Captain is going to use his advanced tactics and tell this one remaining Battle Brother down here to move three inches and he's going to backpedal into those woods being ordered by his captain to get back into cover. Now I could also select the attack walker to move, but I don't want him to, I want him to stay there. So now the Dark Elves get a chance to pile in, and we shall start things off with the captain. He gets one attack with his hammer, which will hit on a three, which hits, and it's blast three, so that becomes three hits. No AP, five up saves, so that's one save, and the other two will be ignored on fives because of regeneration. And they both fail, so that's two elves dead. And then two attacks from the close combat weapons on the other five assault brothers. Hitting on threes. Sixes do nothing special. That's five hits. So again, fives to save. That's one save and regeneration on five plus to regenerate so two more die dark elves get to fight back we'll start with the dark lord he has got an agony whip which would ordinarily hit on threes but because he's a true raider he will be hitting on twos and it's basically the same as the um the captain's energy hammer so hits on a two becomes blast three No AP, three up saves, and they all save. And then there's four close combat weapons, which would ordinarily hit on fours, but because again, they're true raiders, they hit on threes. Everything hits, sixes are nothing special, three up saves, no AP, and that is two fails. So two assault brothers go down. The Assault Brothers killed four Elves, the Elves killed two Assault Brothers, so the Assault Brothers win the combat. So that means the Elves need to take a morale test. They're going to use the Dark Lord's uh, quality, so this will be a three up, which is a pass, so they do not break. But the Assault Brothers do have to fall back an inch. This unit of warriors has run around from behind the rock and are going to shoot at the support brothers. The scrapper is just in range. That gets six shots. It's basically a flamethrower. Um, six shots, quality four up. It is three hits. Sixes do nothing special. This will be three up saves. One fail. So one of the Battle Brothers, Support Brothers, dies. And then there are three Barb Rifles. Again, hitting on fours. Six is a poison, like that, which is just as well, because the other two miss. So another three saves of three plus. And another one dies. So two of the Support Brothers die. So I couldn't decide which ones to take out, so I just took out one Laser Cannon and one Gravity Cannon. The attack walker is going to activate next and we're going to split fire. We're going to put the heavy fusion rifle into the heavy skimmer and the storm rifle. We're going to see if we can polish off that last remaining dark elf warrior 
over there. So we'll do that first because I've got three dice in my hand. Hitting on threes. One hit. It's AP one, so saves on a six. Doesn't save, so yes. That Dark Elf warrior is down. One shot from the heavy fusion rifle going into the um, the heavy skimmer. Quality three, but because of the uh, the shield of darkness, hitting on a four, which misses. Up next for the dark elves, the two remaining nightmares are going to charge that remaining battle brother, and they are fast, so they can move an extra four inches when they charge. They get three attacks each, they're quality three, so they'll be hitting on threes. Sixes are rending. And there's two misses, but there is a rending. These three are AP1, so they'll be fours to save. All three of them save. And the six is rending, so this will need a six to save. Which doesn't save, so that last battle brother is cut down. The Nightmares have consolidated three inches into those trees where they are now contesting that objective. But just around those trees, you can see their feet sticking out, is another unit of Battle Brothers. Speaking of which, those Battle Brothers have advanced into the trees and are going to shoot at the Nightmares. Now, even though they're in the same terrain feature, the rules just say if you're in cover terrain, you get the benefits cover. So they will still be minus one to be hit. In there we've got six shots from the Flamer mod, which will hit on fours. That's three hits. And these are four up saves. And two fail, so those last two nightmares have fallen. They get burned out of the woods. The last unit for the Dark Elf Raiders is the Dark Lord's unit, and they're going to shoot at those Assault Brothers. We'll start with the Dark Lord himself. He's got a barbed pistol, which will ordinarily hit on a three, but because he's a true raider, it'll hit on a two as a one. <laughs> then we've got three barb rifles, which will ordinarily hit on fours, but again, they're true raiders, so they'll hit on threes. And they all miss as well. And then there's three shots from the barb cannon, which will hit on threes. And that's two hits. Two saves of three up. One fails, so another Assault Brother dies. Now the Assault Brother's unit is down to half its starting strength. There were six models, now there's three, so they need to take a morale test. They'll use the uh, well, it doesn't matter, they're all quality 3+, plus, and they're all fearless, so they'll pass on a 2+. Plus. And that's a 1! So, they are pinned! The support brothers are going to open fire. The gravity cannon and the heavy rifle from the NCO are going to go into those warriors. So this will be 6 shots from the, um, the gravity cannon. Uh, the laser cannon will go into the heavy skimmer, which is currently off-screen. But the gravity cannon first, we'll be hitting on threes. And sixes are rending. So this will need to be a six for a save, which is not. So that's one dead. And the other three will need to be five up saves. Two pass, one fails, so that's two dead. And then the heavy rifle hits. AP1, so it will need to be a six fails so there's one of those warriors left they'll need to take a morale test on a four plus which they pass and i just caught it in time the six from the gravity cannon is also relentless support brothers are relentless so that means any sixes to hit generate extra shots not extra hits but extra shots so he rolled one six so i get to roll another shot which hits Five up save, fails, so that last elf warrior is also killed. And one shot from the laser cannon into the off-screen heavy skimmer will hit on a five, because quality three, it, you can't see the whole thing because it's behind a hill, 
So that is minus one because of cover, and it's also minus one because of the, um, the shield of shadow or whatever it's called that gives it the stealth ability. So hitting on a five, which is a miss on a one. And the only thing left to do is for the attack speeder to activate and remove its pin. So at the end of turn three, I think it's all but over for the Dark Elves. The Battle Brothers are holding three objectives. They've got a full squad of Battle Brothers on objective five. They still hold objective one in the centre, although with two very badly damaged vehicles. And this support squad is still classed as holding objective three. For the Dark Elves, they still hold objective two and they still hold objective four. And this unit of assaults brothers is uh, is currently pinned so as we go into turn four i don't think the dark elves are going to be able to pull it back but we'll play through the turn anyway and at the start of turn four the master brother in his destroyer armor teleports onto the battlefield to reinforce objective three and to support those support brothers the Dark Elves finished activating first in turn three, so they get to activate first in turn four. And that unit of Assault Brothers is currently pinned. So a simple charge from the Dark Lord and his unit will automatically wipe them out. They charge in. And because the Assault Brothers are already pinned, they automatically break. And now the Dark Lord and his unit will get a chance to consolidate three inches. So they're just going to fade back into those woods. Or as far into the woods as they can get with three inch move. The attack speeder has moved up to contest objective two. And it's going to open fire on the heavy skimmer. Six shots with the heavy flamer hitting on fours because of shield of darkness. And that is only two hits. Six is a nothing special. Three's to save. One goes through. That's one damage inflicted on the heavy skimmer. And then one shot from the heavy fusion rifle hitting on a four, which hits AP four, so need a six to save. That's a four, so that's not a save, and that's um, deadly six, so that's seven damage through on the heavy skimmer. It's tough nine, so it's been reduced to less than half health, so it will need to take a morale test. It is quality three plus, which it passes, so it is not pinned, but it has only got two lots of tough left. The Dark Elves know that they cannot win this day, so in spite, they're going to try and cripple the Battle Brothers as badly as they can. So the Heavy Skimmer is going to fire in at the Attack Walker maliciously, see if we can finally take it down. So three shots from the Laser Lancers hitting on threes. That's only one hit, six is nothing special, five up save, which fails. The Attack Walker is destroyed. Enraged at the fall of their ancient brother, the support brothers advance and open fire on the smoking, burning heavy skimmer. We'll start with the laser cannon, which will hit on a five plus because it's obscured and also, well, it misses, and also because of the um, shield of darkness. So the laser cannon misses. Uh, six shots from the gravity cannon. Again, hitting on fives. And six has become extra shots and only two missed so that's five hits out of six hitting on fives who'd have thought it right uh the sixes of which there were two are rending so these will be six up saves and it fails those two and it's only got two damage left so the heavy skimmer is finished off and with that, the Dark Elf Lord knows there is nothing else he can do. He's a wily old fox and he knows that to run away is to fight another day. So he will withdraw and lick his wounds and doubtless return to this planet. So that was that. It was 
good to be back. Uh, yeah, it was a bit more one-sided than I thought it was going to be. Um, to be honest, I thought the Battle Brothers were going to have a harder time of it because of their, um, I think they had slightly few units. Um, but yeah, those fusion rifles, heavy fusion rifles, are quite literally very hit and miss. Um, if they miss, obviously they do nothing, but when they do hit, well, they do a lot of damage. And for that um, that light skimmer to get one-shotted by a heavy fusion rifle was one thing, but for half of its um, passengers to die in the ensuing explosion was quite another, which I was really disappointed at, having seen what those two lone nightmares could do in combat. It would be interesting to see what a whole unit of five could do, or even a, a combined unit of ten. But I've only got five at the minute. I would like to get some more. Um, yeah, and I do quite like the Dark Elf Raiders. I like their aesthetic. I do have some more models that are built, but not yet painted, to add to them. And I've got a couple of extra Battle Brothers units for that particular army. I've obviously got my Wolf Brothers as well. Um, but yeah, that was... My first game in a while so I was a little bit rusty hopefully I didn't make too many mistakes if any but yeah it's good to be back and until next time please continue to like comment and subscribe and God bless mm -hmm.